Today, I'm going to talk about something that is very important to everybody. Some people have business. Some people have job. Some people that have business have more customers than others. Why some people that have job have more income than others? Why is this so? If you want to know the secret behind this, keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Before I go deep into today's topic, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, you are your own limit. What are you saying you can't do? What are you saying to yourself about your desired dream? Develop your confidence through positive daily affirmation. Then your mind will agree with you that you have courage now. Then go on and do what you think you can't do. Even God loves bold people who can act like David. Jim Ross said, his mentor asked him one day this question. His mentor said, those people at your workplace, some of them get higher salary than Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn said, yes. He now asked Jim Rohn, what is his salary? Jim Rohn told him his salary. Jim Rohn now asked this mentor that, why do these people get more income than him, even though they have the same education. The mentor replied and said to Jim Rohn, this is all about your mindset. What exactly is the meaning of this mindset? You might have been hearing from the left, from the right, from everybody on earth. What really is the meaning of this mindset? How can mindset affect your income and how can mindset bring you lots of customer first of all what is mindset a mindset refers to whether you believe qualities such as intelligence and talent are fixed or changeable traits there are two types of mindset people with a fixed mindset believe that these qualities are inborn fixed and unchangeable those with a growth mindset on the other hand believe that these abilities can be developed and strengthened by way of commitment and hard work the bible made us to understand that god wish that we prosper in the earth in the world as our soul desire like I always say on my channel that individual of us are wonderful beings. Look at what the Lord say in his word. Ephesians 3.20 says, God is able to do immeasurable thing, more than we ever think, more than we ever desire, according to the power that worketh within us. This simply means you are your own limit in your business and in your job maybe your desire is to be having 200,000 pounds per month and you work hard on yourself you develop yourself you add value to yourself and you start to get that income at your workplace or you start to get that income at your business that is where that income will stop because in your subconscious mind, you are said to it that the only income, the highest income you desire is 200,000 pounds. And you will be at that level for many years until you want to change your mindset by saying, okay, this 200,000 pounds is not enough anymore. You now say to your subconscious mind, 
I desire to be earning 500,000 pounds per month in my business, in my job, then your subconscious mind will rewire himself and start to work with what your mind tells it. Now, how do you get the desired income you want from your business and the desired income you want from your job? Number one, take off the mindset of begging people to buy from you. You have to see yourself as valuable in the environment. You have to carry yourself as somebody that is very important, that people will be running after to buy from, that people will be running after to employ. That is why it's very good to add value to yourself. If you have business and you will need to do more training on how to get more customer, go for it. That is how to add value to yourself. If you are a worker, and you need to go for more training to get higher grade so that your salary will be increased. Go for that. That is the way to add value to yourself. They will be begging you to come and work at a place. And if you're a business person, your customer will be running after you because you have added value to yourself. Number two, put on the mindset of having the desperate customer. Put on the mindset of having the best company to employ you. I watched a short movie about a man that have the gift to invent robot, but he invented one particular robot. Unfortunately, this robot didn't work. Then, finally, the daughter kept on encouraging him, Daddy, you can do this. He kept on saying to himself, there is nothing he can do about it. He tried the best, it can't work. But the child kept on saying, Daddy put on that positive mindset. This thing can work. So one day he went to his um, workroom and tried it again to make the robot to work. And finally the robot started working. And they were so excited. But unfortunately, one of the best friends he trusted stole the robot away and made a lot of money through that robot. And for this reason, this man finally gave up and he lost everything. Few years later, after this man had lost a lot of things and lost hope and given up, the granddaughter came again and started to say, let's try this let's fight back and get this robot he finally got the robot back but the man said i can't do it but the child said dad say i believe say i believe and he started saying i believe and finally the robot started working and all his debt were paid off through the money they made from it so you need to put on the mindset of you uh, valuable number three get mentor that is doing the same thing you are doing get training from them it doesn't mean you should copy exactly whatever they are doing but you can just get training from them add your own idea add your own value to it and be the best you can be number four never have the mindset of free have the mindset of I don't mind paying to get rain to add value to myself. The people who want free every time are not ready for the highest success. They are not ready for the next level. You got to have the mindset that where you are going, it might take a lot of challenges. It might take a lot of training. It might take a lot of spending. But be ready to pay a lot to get your desired sources. Remember, God paid the ransom first before he gave us life. The ransom he paid was Jesus Christ. After sending Jesus Christ to die for our sin, then 
eternal life came. So that shows to us that nothing is free. The moment you have the mindset of getting things for free, you are not ready for the next level. Hear this truth. All your challenges that you are facing as you are going towards your success land, God is using it to build you up spiritually. He will see you through. And number five, be grateful for those challenges. Maybe God gave you an idea to start a project and you know deep in your mind that you don't have money to start that project. Instead of you to look down on yourself and start to beg for money and start to think in your mind that God will send an helper that will give you free money to start that project. Instead of you to have this kind of mindset, you know what you can do. Look at your house. Say something that you know you don't need anymore. Get money from that. If that is not enough to do what you need to do, add to your job. Just sit down and think, what can you do to bring money? There is a lot of job online. Look for it. Research. Instead of having the mindset that God will send an angel who will come and give you free money to start a project. God will want you to take a step first. And when you take the little step of trying your best, selling something that you don't need to get a little bit of capital, then God can send somebody to add to it. If you ask. And if you ask the right people. In conclusion, getting the desired income from your job and getting the desired profit from your business is like an aeroplane which wants to take off from the floor. You will notice that the aeroplane at the beginning going slowly, going slowly, going slowly. When it gets to the point where the aeroplane wants to fly, you will know that it will speed up. That is how getting to your success land look like. At the beginning, it might be rough. At the beginning, you might be gaining, going slowly, slowly. But when you do all this thing and follow this mindset step, you will get to a point where everything will start to speed up and that will take you to your desired promised land. Of this encourage you to run after your dream. Speak to you soon. God bless.